Biden administration's new COVID-19 response team held its first press briefing today. It had a very different look and feel from the previous briefings, starting with the fact that the president himself was not there. Our Dr. Frank McGeorge joins us with a closer look at what to expect going forward. Hi, Frank. Hey, Kim and Devin. Yeah, the briefing was held virtually. That's a major change from the in-person briefings that were preferred by the Trump administration. And while the CDC has been largely sidelined since last March, the first person to speak at this briefing was the new head of that agency. Our case rates remain extraordinarily high, and now is the time to remain vigilant. New CDC head Dr. Rochelle Walensky warned the latest forecasts predict up to 89,000 more Americans could be lost to the virus in the next four weeks. I know this is not news we all want to hear, but this is something we must say so we are all aware. The message repeatedly echoed, science will guide their decisions. The White House respects and will follow the science, and the scientists will speak independently, and that our core values of science, public health, and equity to drive our actions here at the White House. Getting more vaccines to Americans, the top priority. Much of our work over the next week is going to make sure that we can tighten up the timelines, understand where in the pipeline the vaccine actually is, and when exactly it is administered. You heard from the president this week. He is pushing us to view one million per day as the floor, not the ceiling. To that end, we are releasing more supply, activating FEMA, and deploying many more personnel. But it will be months before everyone who wants a vaccine can get one. Now I know that many Americans are anxious and eager to get vaccinated. I want you to know we're taking this issue on with incredible urgency and purpose. Now the Biden administration is looking for additional ways to speed up vaccine production. These briefings are actually gonna happen three times a week now in an effort to keep Americans better informed about the pandemic and the vaccines. Back to you.